combined bending and twisting moment. So let us consider that we have a flywheel here and this flywheel has a weight equal to W and is mounted on the shaft. Let us assume that it is placed between one support here. Since it is a flywheel, it will going to rotate also. So it will apply the torque. If you consider only the weight, it is simply supported beam with the point load at center. So the beam is subjected to bending also. So we have a combined condition of bending and twisting moment. And therefore your element will have two types of stresses. One stress is called as bending and one stress will be called as shear. And this shear is complementary. If you are bending on this side, we are bending on this side. So the state of the stress for this element will be like this. Whereas this stress will be equal to sigma b and this stress will be equals to tau x y. It is equals to tau and this we call as sigma x. There is no stress acting in y direction. So sigma y equals to zero. So right now we will keep our discussion for circular section. This one is a shaft supported on two ends and we have a flywheel whose weight is w. Because of this the shaft will experience the bending moment and uh, it has a torque also. So our section is circular. For circular section we are going to calculate sigma b and then tau. So as far as sigma b is considered, a sigma b is given by m divided by r divided by i is given by pi by 64 for circular section d to the power 4 and y is maximum at dy. You can solve this equation and you will get sigma b equals 32 m by r d q. In the second equation we are having for tau which is equals to pi by 16 q multiplied by tau is for solid shaft again. So we have shear stress equals to 16 times divided by pi d q. So first question they will ask you what is the ratio of shear stress divided by bending stress. So you guys substitute all these values your pi d q will cancel and we are left with 32 and 16. So is it t divided by 2m. So this was the first objective question they will ask. Second question they will ask you if this is the element or if a shaft is subjected to bending and twisting moment, what is the value of maximum normal that is the principal stress and what is the value of maximum shear. Remember this is not maximum shear. Eh? Maximum shear you can find out by using the formula. Now you remember tau max. Tau max is the under root side. So it is under root of a sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square. So tau x y square. So let us substitute this value. And I will write this tau max in this form, okay. So if it is tau, then it is write T. If it is tau max, I will write down T. So it's a 16 T E called as equivalent torque, which is sufficient to produce the tau max equals to 5 by dq under root of sigma x is same as sigma b. Sigma b is same as 32 and divided by 2 is it 16? And what is the value of sigma y is 0. So is this term is same as 16 m by pi d q and then square quantity plus tau x y is same as this value. Tau x y is tau is same as this value. This is 16 times t divided by pi d q. 16 pi d cube is get cancelled and can I have equation of equivalent torque t that equals to under root of m square plus t square. This concept is called as equivalent tau. Use this value, put in this formula, will you get tau max? So what is the value of tau max? So you can simply calculate tau max is 16 times t divided by pi dq. And in one stroke you can find out your maximum shear stress. In the similar way we can find out sigma max equal to sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus under root of sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square plus tau x y. Now just I return the value of tau equivalent as a replacement for tau max. So I can replace sigma b max using this formula. In that case I will write down this is me. So this is my 32 by pi d q. I will take out 1 by 2 common. This 1 by 2 is here. This one is 1 by 2. Now what is sigma x? Sigma x is same as sigma b is equal to 32. This is 32 m by pi d q. So this one of writing. So this is 16 by this. 16 t e divided by pi dq. I am not able to calculate my 32 so I will make little adjustment. My denominator can be get cancelled. So what I do is that I will write 32 equivalent bending moment equal to me. This is pi dq and from both I am taking purposefully common. 
so this one is 32 and so there is no change here this 16 I have to write down 32 divide by these two will become 16 by 5 dq multiplied by t so will I get the blast equation as me is equals to 1 by 2 it's a uh, m plus t or we can say me is equal to 1 by 2 into m plus under root of m square plus t square now you can use this formula for me and you can calculate sigma b max so what is the value of sigma b max so sigma b max this is called as principal stress is 32 times me divided by pi dq remove this max remove this t it is simple doubt remove this max remove ma it will be simple bending stress and if you write equivalent it will be max if equivalent will be max take one question a shaft is subjected to 30 kilo newton meter torque and bending moment of 40 kilo newton meter and the diameter of the shaft is 100 mm only one diameter given me the shaft is solid first part is find the ratio tau divided by sigma b understand this language and second case find the ratio of maximum shear stress to maximum normal stress then first of all I can calculate the tau to calculate tau I to simply substitute 16 this will be t divided by pi dq by pi dq he asked the ratio of tau by sigma b so tau divided by sigma b tau is equal to what t divided by twice m t is equal to what write two times the answer is 3 by 2 that you can directly calculate and now we are going to proceed for the next step for this process you have to calculate t first so what is t is it under root of m square plus t square m square plus t square is it a 30 square plus 40 square so that will be 50 3 square plus 4 square is 5 and can we calculate me me is same as 1 by 2 m plus t so this is 1 by 2 me is 40 plus 50 so this is 45 so ratio is same is tau max divided by sigma b max is same as t equivalent by 2 times m equivalent is 50 divided by 2 times 45 that is 50 by 90 in the same question you will place the another question like this find the maximum torque that can be applied if the maximum torque can be applied the value of t should not change so if the value of t should not change and the maximum torque you can apply it, then the value of m will be going to convert in the form of t so if you make m equal to 0 can we apply the maximum torque equal to t so in this equation you have to just put value of t so what is the maximum torque maximum torque is same as t so what is the maximum torque we will get is equal to 50 right now what is the torque 30 what is the bending moment 40 he says that if there is no bending moment then can the shaft be sustained a value equal to t so effect of 30 plus 40 is same as producing the shear stress equal to what something like this this is the shear stress produce if you make the torque alone equal to t your shear stress will remain same so in this case value of m will be equal to what zero A circular cross section bar is clamped at one end free and other end loaded with uniformly distributed twisting moment of magnitude t per unit length along its length as shown in figure. It's got torsional rigidity gi. Find the angle of twist at the free end of the bar is. So what we do, we'll take one section here. Let this section length equals to what x. So can we calculate the torque of up to this portion? is the sum of this t plus this t plus this t plus x so at this section a a what is the total torque exerted so at section a the torque is equal to t is t so naturally this t come out to be what function of x we are theta equals to integral of t 
multiplied by dx. Understand this language? Mm -hmm. It's a dx divided by gx multiplied by j from 0 to l. A is integral 0 to l. P is replaced by dx into dx divided by g multiplied by j. P can be taken common. G uh, by j can be taken common. Integral of x is x square into so that is L square divided by What is exactly contour means? Contour means that suppose we have an axis system like this then the shaft is going to vary according to this equation. So y value is this value. So y is going to vary from this. I think uh, if you put x equal to 0 it's e to the power a. So this value exists here and then we will go on increasing like this and it will go on increasing like this shaft no so we have one circular section like this and we have one circular section like this now equation of this curve is y and this distance is same as y this distance is same as y then it is same as r if it is r then we can replace j j is given by pi by 32 d to the power 4 a is pi by 32 D can be replaced as 2R and you want to calculate the angle twist that is theta so we have a same formula this one is Tx multiplied by Dx divided by Jx multiplied by Dx. so right now T is constant only one dot and J is a function G is also constant so that can be taken outside is the integral of Dx J is equal to pi by 2 that is 2 times pi pi r to the power 4 is same as y to the power 4 y to the power 4 is e to the power x to the power 4 from 0 to l so this is t by g 2 is taken common y is taken common integral of e to the power minus of 4 x then it can be again solved this is twice t by pi g Solution of this term is e to the power minus of 4ax minus 4a. What is the answer? So finally we will get 2t divided by pi multiplied by g minus 4a. Now if you put the limit you will get e to the power minus 4al minus of e to the power. So this minus term can be adjusted by swapping these two terms. This 2 and this minus 4 will be get minus 2. Minus minus cancel. So we have t pi g a and divided by 2 that is this term. And no, no, this is denominator only. This is the first term. And 1 minus e to the power minus 4. 